Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here. All right, so this video right here is going to be uh, nice and short. It's going to be about gang structure. Uh, made a video before about gang structure, and some people still had a hard time. So I'm going to simplify it with some water bottles and some water. All right, so I'm going to show you how an amplifier works and uh, what you need to know and what you need to do. All right, when buying your amplifier. All right, so this is a quick, simple video here. Show you uh, a little scientific project I came up with. All right, this morning. So I'm still drinking my coffee. It's early, but um, we're gonna get it done. All right. So right here, I have three water bottles. Right. I'm gonna show you what they are. All right. This is your entry level amplifier. All right. This one will be your intermediate. You know, this will be the most uh, most used amplifier from uh, many sound guys or whatever. All right, and this will be your pro level amplifier. Okay, that uh, you know more professionals, some sound guys use also. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. All right. All right. So this cap will represent the clip that comes on on an amplifier when it's too much um, input being driven into the amplifier the amplifier will overload and it will clip all right so this will represent clip all right so we'll start with the entry level amplifier all right again this is the clip when i put the clip on this is going to represent how the amplifier reacts all right when there's too much input all right so let me get my water and I'll show you what's going on here, all right? All right. So let's just say this is your amplifier and this is your input. This is what you're driven from your mixing console, all right? Let's see what's going in. I'm going to turn up the water a little bit more, all right? So let's do this. This is your input going in into a cheap amplifier. Okay. That's your output coming in. Okay. That was your input. This is your output coming in. Alright. Now when the pressure gets too much and then that amplifier starts to overflow, then your clip comes on. Right when your clip comes on, it goes like this, and as you notice, the output to the speakers this is your output to the speakers, right? This will no longer flow like that, it will now trickle. So now your speakers are not getting the proper current that it supposed to be getting so that's when distortion and everything else kicks in okay because this is the way your amplifier will react once the clip comes on okay you see that that's what will be going out to your speakers from the bottom here so you're no longer getting the full power you will just be off and on that's why that clip light goes off and on because that's the power you're getting to your speakers all right, so this is what an entry level amplifier does. All right, when it receives its uh, input and it's too much, okay? All right, now this is uh, an intermediate amplifier. This is one a lot of sound systems use, you know, um, pretty much like your CVRs. Um, QSC and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to show you how the input goes in and how it comes out.
Okay. Even though they are rated at a lot of wattage, a lot of times their input level is still weak. I'm going to turn the water pressure down. Come on, you're getting soaking wet for you guys early in the morning just to show this in Alright, so this is your intermediate amplifier. Alright, this is input, the water is input, okay? So, this is how the input, when you're putting your input into an intermediate amplifier, you can see how it barely fills up. It's about halfway, but it's flowing nicely. Alright, now if, you're, if your mixing board is putting out too much, all of a sudden, Intermediate amplifier can also go into clip. So I'm going to show you that if you're not running the proper gain structure, this is what will happen also. Okay? So I'm going to fill this up and show you. Now this is what the this is what the clip does to an intermediate amplifier. See, it's a lot better than um, the beginner amplifier. It's still flowing, but it's not flowing as much. So this is what happens when the amplifier goes into clip. All right, so you get that off and on pressure until you reset your gain structure and, and until the amplifier cools down. All right, once it cools down, you can get back your normal flow okay so this is like your CVR your K30s ad marks QSC or and you know some other crowns and PVs and so forth all right now I'm gonna show you what a pro amplifier you know like a power soft and so forth lab grouping crown I tech macro tech how they handle input okay See, a lot of people, they think you can turn the gain up on every amplifier. You can't turn the gain up on every amplifier. But a pro-level amplifier, you can give it as much input, and it can also be adjusted at the output level fully, or however you want to set it. It's more, it's more compromisable, put it that way, all right, versus a beginner amplifier and an intermediate amplifier. All right, so I'm going to turn up the water pressure on this and show you. Okay, so this is a pro level amplifier. This is how the water flows in. This is representing the input, and these are the outputs. Okay? So you have a lot more gain stuff to play with on a professional amplifier versus an intermediate or beginner amplifier. Alright? So your chances of flipping is way less. Alright? Because Gain structure, sensitivity, everything else is much bigger, more capable of handling a higher voltage input. Okay? So, I hope that helps. Alright, and clears up some of the nonsense that's going on with how you set gain, okay? Alright, I'm DJ Show One King Legend. I'll catch you on the next one.